Hello everyone, it's Mojo Solo Dev. Today I want to show you how to make your characters work and run in the Blender game engine, precisely in Blender 2.7. So here I have my character which has two animations. Firstly, a walking animation. And secondly, a running animation. So, I want to show you how to make this function correctly in the Blender game engine. So, firstly, you need to give to your character what will be its collision bound. So, I'm going to create a cube or just something which will cover her up. A nice collision bound. So you need to make sure that the armature is no collision and the body too is no collision. If not, it's going to react with our collision bound which is going to be character and have collision bounds box. Now we are going to parent this the armature to our collision bound and also we are going to make this invisible in the game and also right here we are not going to deal with it now so the next thing to do is make the anim program the animation for the game so the logic editor and in here we are going to program this armature in such a way that it starts our walking animation when we press on this button so it's going to make this in my case which is walking from frame 0 to frame 63 and it's going to be loop stop so we can see that in the game engine if we press our button she starts working but she works on the same spot so the next thing to do is we're going to tell to this collision bounds the same thing that when we press on this button it starts moving so this time is going to be motion the motion actuator and we are going to instruct it so that it works positively on the x-axis so here 0 0.10 so now if we check it in the game engine we can see Our character works so the next thing is our running animation and after that we shall see how to vary between them during the game while playing the game without problem so for my running animation it starts at frame 0 and ends at frame 43 so we shall go in the logic editor and now when we press on keyboard and shift at the same time it shall do our running animation in my case from frame 0 to frame 43 and it's also going to be loop stop so that it can be interrupted directly by another action then we shall tell to our collision bound 
the same thing this button and shift but this time it's going to have a higher value of motion it shall move faster than when we were just walking so maybe this which is higher than the other one so if we test that in the game engine we can see when we press this she works normally and then shift she runs so we press P she works normally and then we shift she runs so now let's vary this in our game engine without problem so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to assign different priorities to these two actions so that the character can normally exchange animations without problem before that make sure you click on these two this so we are going to give to our working animation a priority of one and our running animation is going to stay at zero so now if we test it in the game we can normally see that our character shifts from our animation our working animation to our running animation without problem and then comes back and if you don't want the animations to be so direct so swift we can change them by using the blend in so right here in our actions we are going to change this blend in to maybe 6 so that the actions gradually change from one animation to another If not, it looks like the game is buggy. So let's see that. So that's what it look it looks like. Now that's all. You can also check out my other videos in the description and the links in the description to have access to all my other bonuses and all other interesting stuff also mojo solo dev i program games alone and every month or every two weeks maybe the best fan i have gets a chance to propose ideas and even have his name in my games thank you for watching goodbye